Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to what is going to be a very exciting episode of Maggie Diaries. I know you must be wondering what all the waiting was about. Hold on while I get to that very soon. My name is Hanifa Adam and in my kitchen, everyone is welcome. We know how important the month of Ramadan is and I'll be showing you all how and what affordable nutritious meal options you can make for iftar. Joining me in the kitchen today is Amina. She's a content creator and she's going to be helping me out introducing this meal to you. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Yeah. Today, you will know what this is about and you already know it has to do with what I'm making. I'm peeling my beans now. The special meal we'll be cooking today, which is akara fish tempura. Do you know anything about it? We're going to be eating it with echo. You can already okay. see there. I yeah. know akara and echo, but, but I don't know. know if they add fish to akara. Oh, well, the fish tempura just means we're going to be adding a twist to the classic akara that we okay. all are used to. So we're going to go on a quick break and then we'll come back and we'll get right into it. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. As you can see, I've already finished peeling and washing the beans. And right now, I'm going to introduce you to the ingredients we are going to use to make akara fish tempura with echo. This is the already peeled beans and it's washed and clean. This is smoked mackerel, scotch bonnet, onions, Tatashe, Maggi crayfish. These are the ingredients for the effort, and then we're going to be serving it with echo. So the first thing we are going to do, I actually have some things I use to make my process faster. A lot of the times I soak my beans in like maybe hot water. That way it can get like really soft faster. And then by the time I'm blending it, it is going to be like very smooth. We're going to add um, the scotch bonnet in it, the onions and the tatashe into the beans, blend it all up and then we'll come back here. You know what, while I finish up with this one, please help me heat up some oil so that we're going to use it to deep fry our car. Right. Now we are going to go on a quick break and when we come back, we'll be frying our car. Here's my blended beans, and then I'm just going to stir it together, you know, to incorporate bubbles, you know, make it fluffier. Oh, thank you, we're already, your oil is already hot. Thank you for helping me with that. You're welcome. Akara is very rich in protein, and for us to make it have more nutritional values, we're going to be adding the fish to it. I'm going to add Maggi crayfish for flavor. And then stir it all together just to incorporate all the Maggi cube. So does it mean when I use Maggi cube, I don't have to use salt anymore? No, you don't have to use salt. I mean, salt is one of the ingredients in the Maggi cube. So wow. once you use your Maggi seasoning, it is sufficient for the flavor. I'm just for the first time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sometimes I like to put onion in my oil before using it to fry, just to give it more pizzazz and more flavor as well. Just a few pieces. You don't have to... You don't have to cut it all up, just, you know, just put it in the oil. And we're just going to wait for the oil to get hotter, and then we're going to be frying our car inside it. All right, um, the oil um, is already hot, and the 
onion is sizzling inside, then I'm just going to start scooping that in. Do you prefer using um, akara beans powder? You know, the beans powder to make your akara, or you would prefer making it fresh from scratch this way? The first time I made akara, it was a disaster. Why are you having disasters in the kitchen? It was first the young bakery, and now your akara. But anyways, like I said, you're going to, like get your tips here and hopefully you're going to recreate this at home and yes. you're not going to have any disaster anymore hopefully. so you just use a deep um scoop um spoon like this take like a cube size of fish you know put the fish inside you can, so that it would like cover it up a little and then just lower it into your oil so that it will deep fry. Oh. Can you see what I did? Nice. I'm just going to add more fish again. This is such an interesting way of eating akara because you are not just eating it plain, you are adding more nutritional values okay. into it. There is fish in it and that's what makes it the tempura. <laughs> You can go as big or as, as small as you want. Oh, okay. This reminds me of how I add more stuff into my kids' meal so that it's just not plain akara that they are eating. They have more things inside the akara so that it will make it rich and, you know, more nutritious. Yeah. And this is not expensive to make at all. You don't have to... Um, bring the back. Ex bring the back. <laughs> You don't have to incur too many costs. It's just the beans, you know, your regular smoked mackerel fish, and then you're yeah, good to go. Let me just add one more. And then, yeah, I think that's enough for the first batch. Let me wash my hands. Oh, thank you. Oh, you already washed the blender. Nice. <laughs> this akara reminds me of when we go to Ilekeo. Um, did you go to Ilekeo growing yes, up or anything? Do you used to eat Sarah? <laughs> you must not eat it because my grandma is going to do it. <laughs> I, I ate Sarah. Sometimes they brought sugar, sometimes they brought puff puff, and sometimes there's akara inside, but there's no usually fish in our Sarah akara. Okay. I would actually love to know what you guys love eating in Lekeo. If that actually made you go to Lekeo more, you know, I share it with us on social though, media. But before this I eat it, I must take it to home. home. Before well, I eat actually, it. that's the thing. You know, with kids, you might want to let them to come home to show you what they've been, uh, you know, don't talk to strangers, don't collect them. <laughs> Boy, Sarah is safe. <laughs> I think maybe because my mom used to like give it as well. So I felt, ah, it's okay to eat it. And that's the beautiful thing about Ramadan. It's also a month of sharing. You increase the amount of good deeds that you're doing during the holy month, the amount of charity you're doing in the holy month, and may Allah accept it from us. Um, so I'm just going to make it fry more, you know, till, like, till it's like golden brown, and then remove it from the fire. This is our second batch. I have a question for you. Okay. <laughs> if you get it right, I'll give you extra <laughs> All right. What pillar of Islam is fasting during the month of Ramadan? That's some, and it is the fourth pillar of Islam. MashaAllah. Extra akara for you. <laughs> this. Uh, we are done. While we're frying the second batch, we are going to go on a break right now, and when we come back, we'll have our iftar ready. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Wow, this looks amazing. Yeah, yeah this is our beautiful Akara tempura with a cord that we just finished preparing. This Akara is uh, wait. Nice. 
can't wait. I know you can't wait to dig in. I'm I very cannot. excited to get up with iftar as well. With this meal, you are guaranteed to have a very good iftar. Let the pleasantness of today's dish remind you that cooking is a gesture of love. So make sure you share this meal with those you cherish. For more meals and recipes, make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Till I see you on the next episode of Maggie Diaries. Be at peace through this only month of Ramadan. Maggie cares, and with Maggie, everyone is welcome. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Calm down. So <laughs>